You got your bear spray. Yeah. Water, I see. Like that. Welcome back to Onwards and Upwards everybody. Today we're going to be climbing up Sugar Mountain in the Monishi Mountains in southern British Columbia. So right now it's overcast. It's 8.15 in the morning. It should be at least a 10 hour hike in total. I've arranged a ride to be picked up at the trailhead at 7 tonight. So I have 11 hours to work with on this hike. Hopefully I'll get to the top of the mountain by around 12.30. We are in grizzly bear country. Came prepared with my bear spray here. Hopefully I won't have to use that, but just in case I have it ready at the belt. Also this entire mountainside was scorched by a massive forest fire two summers ago. So you can still see the remnants on the hillside. So there's a road up here, which is not the right road, but the right road is here. And you can actually see, way off in the distance, Sugar Mountain. You can see these terrible scorch marks on the trees. They're just char. I should mention that Sugar Mountain is a totally unprotected region. I won't be surprised if we don't see a single person on the trail. This mountain is especially deserving to be part of Monashi Provincial Park because it sort of serves as an ambassador to the Monashis. Because to the east of Sugar Mountain are the foothills. Then suddenly this monumental mountain rises up. So look at this footprint here. Oh, that's another one. I'm about an hour and a half up the trail, so I've really made use of the shade before the sun really kicked in. But up here, the water is pristine. It's coming down from glaciers, so the path is becoming a lot more forested. It's nice to profit from a bit more shade. I'm in a clear cut here. So this was logged probably 40 years ago or something like that. So I'm slowly making my way up into the alpine zone. So here you can see the utter devastation that was caused by the forest fires on Sugar Mountain two years ago. The entire hillside is burnt to a crisp. Alright, so we're still getting up higher. I would say probably about an hour from the top of the mountain. You can open my first granola bar. Once again, the nature valley. looking like a stairway to heaven. There's lots of wildflowers up here. So as we're just about on the top, the views around are really getting spectacular. So that mountain right there in the center of the screen is an unnamed mountain. In the far distance there, 
you can see the magnificent Mount Fostel. All right, so we've made it to the summit of Sugar Mountain. So this cabin here is actually a fire lookout. So its purpose is simply to be here to monitor all the mountains and hills around here to see if any forest fires have broken out. Let's take a look. I just figured it out. Hello? Wow, this is great. Look. Dead bugs. A foamy. That's so nice of somebody to come up and bring a foamy. Leave it for the people. Looks like a raincoat is up there. Simply amazing and peaceful up here. I should mention that it's 11.40 and I left the parking lot at 8.10. It only took me around three to three and a half hours. So I'll have a lot of time to explore the mountain and take some photos. So now let's write in this book. I hiked up here alone. A beautiful trek to say the least. The view of Mount Fostel is sublime. I recorded a video of this hike. Check it out. May anyone reading this have a great day. So it's August 11th today, and the last people to come here was three days ago on the 8th of August. 12th of August, 2010. Erkin and Will. Was nice to take some rock samples for geology-related work. It was a great hike. Approximately 50 million-year-old Pluton. Rock on. The Sugar Mountain Lookout, built in the 1920s, has been reconditioned in July 2008. Please respect the old place, so many may enjoy for years to come. What a cool spot. This is a beautiful place. So I put my raincoat on, not because it's raining, but just because it's chilly. And now I've walked over to this cliff edge and I'm gonna take some photos here. And man, this is a beautiful spot. There's some pretty jagged cliffs here. And down there is Kate Lake.
If you're one of those people who likes hiking for the alpine mountain walking like this, the Monashi Mountains are some of the best in the world. Some of those mountains are the most jagged I've ever seen. Just amazing up here. You know, Neil Young has a song called Sugar Mountain. The Colombian ground squirrel. Oh, he's like, oh shit. For lunch, I got an apple, a granola bar, and some chicken. So about 100 feet away or so on that rock is some sort of possum. Most of its body is totally white, which is really interesting. All right, so I'm kind of torn between checking out Kate Lake and going up and checking out this ridge. I don't think I have time to get to the top of that mountain there because that's a pretty high mountain. I was just thinking of heading down this rock field and heading up the meadow over there just until I get to a viewpoint. But looks can be deceiving. So I discovered that I am not in good enough shape to hike up two mountains in one day. I'm gonna go down to Kate Lake and check out the views. Just saw a moose. That was pretty cool. It was really scared of me. These tracks are really disturbing to me. Those are some really big tracks. Maybe that's a giant moose? Giant grizzly? I have no idea. So I'm almost at the trailhead, and I think it's a good time to wrap up the video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Onwards and Upwards. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe.